Rice Leeches drops, so let's look at some teams for him, starting with one of his strongest. Vape is often preferred over Melt because of a wider range of options, so it's nice to have a Melt team that actually feels good. With this one, I've gone with Shenha to drive Rice numbers as high as I can, but if you go with Kazuha instead, that'll probably be better for the damage buff to Shang Ling. The only downside to this team is that it's reliant on Shang Ling and Bennett as so many teams are. If you're a free to play and don't have a crit weapon for Rifesley, you could go with either Flow Impurity, which is a Fontaine craftable to boost his elemental damage, or you could go with a 4.1 event weapon, Ballad. Energy recharge isn't needed on Rifesley, but having it does mean you can use his burst a bit more. The weapon also has a high base attack and a passive that increases the damage of normal and charge attacks. If you don't want to use Shang Ling and Bennett because you use them enough already, then Freeze is an option. It's nice to get some use out of Mika because I don't play physical. I think he's got the potential to be a good character with the attack speed increase if only they focused more on that and got rid of the physical buffs. He keeps the team alive though despite Rivesley draining his own HP, he holds Noblesse and Favonius Lance, and he's easy to build with you only need an energy recharge, HP and crit rate. Your land drives the damage of the on-field character higher with a passive which is nice and given a Favonius Warbow means it's even easier to generate energy for the team. The third characters are flexed between Singcho, Kazuha or Shenha. Blizzard Stray is better than Marisho Say on Rivesley here as long as you have high uptime on freeze. The Cryo Resonance will give some crit rate too so you could use that to stack crit damage on everyone. Now as much as I liked that freeze team, it did feel like it was lacking in damage a little bit overall. This one however deals more damage. Hyper Bloom is still one of the strongest reactions in the game and adding freeze to the mix gives it some crowd control. The only downside is that it's mostly a single target orientated team and most single target content is going to be against enemies you can't freeze. If you end up in a situation where there are a couple strong enemies that can be froze though, this team will be a lot of fun. Nahid is holding Magic Guide and Cookie can hold Iron Sting or the Umbrella which makes it a free to play friend team. I'd advise going with the Marisho safe RP on Rifesley rather than Blizzard Strayer because freeze up time can be a little bit awkward here. Also, I'm not going to go into too much detail but it's going to synergize really well with Furina. So if you're lacking Hydro, she'll be a good choice for a lot of Rifesley teams. If you want to see a video like this one but with Furina team, subscribe to the channel. Now let's look at the next team. Hyper carry teams aren't my personal favourites but to those that did want to drive Rifesley's damage as high as possible, this would be the way you'd go about it. I don't think it's great because he doesn't have the best multipliers for a hyper carry but you could try it if you want to. It's not likely going to help you in the more difficult abyss cycles though. I've not dedicated a team to Mono Cryo so we'll talk about it here. It's similar to this one except you swap Bennett out for a Cryo character like Mika, Diona or Layla. You could even use Jean for the Viridescent Venera 4 piece instead of Kazuha and go with a Cryo character like Rosaria for more crit rate. Whichever healer you go for in the Mono Cryo team, just make sure they're holding a Favonius weapon to give the team energy. This one was a little more experimental, definitely not optimal, but I found it fun. I like Yao Yao in this Burgeon team instead of Rifesley, but having him in there gave us the occasional freeze. Generally speaking, you won't often bring Animo to a Burgeon team, so using Cryo to give yourself a method for crowd controlling one is nice. I initially thought there'd be too much Pyro and that it'd be too difficult to freeze them, but that wasn't the case and it actually worked. In content against bosses that can't be frozen, the team's damage was still solid anyway. Survivability can be awkward though if you're taking damage from enemies, Burgeon, and Rivesley draining his own HP. If you struggle with dodging and using iframes, I don't recommend it for any floor 12 cycles against enemies that deal a lot of damage in melee situations, like the Fontaine Robot Dancers. For those of you that are good at dodging, I actually encourage you to give it a go and see what you think. And for the last one, we've gone with the Fridge team. You'll want Rivesley, Nahida and Sing Cho, but then the last slot is a flex. You could go with Baiju or Kokomi for comfort, Shenhe or Kazuha for the buffs, or Yolan for the extra damage. Again, Blizzard's is a good choice here if you have good freeze up time. For a score, I'd give Rifesley a 7.5. He's our first cryo catalyst which is nice because our off field hydro options are better than our off field cryo options. With that said, his stats are balanced in a way where he's not as broken as we thought our first cryo catalyst would be. I'm also not a fan of a part of his skill that needs your HP to be above 50%. It's doable but it's awkward with him draining HP from himself. I don't mind trying out meme teams and experimental ones so drop a comment if you have one. If you want to see a similar video but with Furina teams, subscribe to the channel and take it easy.